Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see what George Yule tells in his introduction in the chapter The Origins of Language in his book The Study of Language. He actually begins the chapter with the quotes of Darwin. Darwin says, the suspicions does not appear improbable that the progenitors of man, either the males or females or both sexes, before they had acquired the power of expressing their mutual love in articulate language, endeavoured to charm each other with musical notes and rhythm. This Charles Darwin had told in 1871. And what he is saying is, that is, even if we are going to suspect that is really true and what is the suspicion is our progenitors, progenitors means our ancestors, whether they are male or female or both the sexes, before they knew how to speak, that is articulate language means speech, they, how they expressed their love for each other should have been either through musical notes and rhythm. This is Darwin's speculation. And in Charles Darwin's vision of the language, I'm sorry, vision of the origins of language, he says, early humans had already developed musical ability prior to language and were using it to charm each other. So Charles Darwin says that before man knew how to speak, he knew how to express his feelings through music and that he expressed actually to show his attraction towards his mate. This may not match the typical image that most of us have of our early ancestors as rather rough characters wearing animal skins and not very charming. But it is an interesting speculation about, lang about how language may have originated. Now what uh, we are saying is generally what do we think about our ancestors, early men? We think that they were wearing, uh, they would have been very rough uh, human beings because uh, we generally have an idea about them as uh, ungroomed uh, human beings wearing animal uh, skins. Uh, so when we think about them expressing their love through music, generally music is said to be very soft and melodious and a person who is expressing his love through music is said to be a very gentle person. So when we think about this mismatch, that is a very rough human being expressing his love for his mate through music does not generally match. But when we think that man would have expressed his love through music before he learned how to speak is definitely a very very charming speculation and maybe his desire to express his love for his mate would have given him uh, certain words uh, given him the idea how to form words and that is how language would have originated this is also a speculation and he says it remains however speculation is only a guess but it may be even the truth we simply don't know how language originated and why there are so many speculations is because none of us know how actually language originated. We do not know that the ability to produce sound and simple vocal patterning, a hum versus a grunt for example, appears to be in an ancient part of the brain that we share with all the vertebrates including fish, frogs, birds and other mammals. Now what the scientists are saying is, all of us can express our feelings through simple sounds and simple vocal patterns like hum mm, or grunt. <clears throat> so, animals also can do it, human beings just like human beings and it seems uh, it is a part of the function of the brain and it is found in all the vertebrates including fish, frog, birds and other mammals. So, all of us express our feeling through a sound and uh, all the vertebrates have this capacity but that isn't human language. Only thing is the difference is we human uh, beings have a language whereas the same language is there with the fish, frog, birds and other mammals but it is different from our human language. We suspect that some type of spoken language must have developed about between 100,000 and 50,000 years ago well before written language about 5,000 years ago. So generally what is our speculation is we man should have known how to speak about 100,000 to 50,000 years ago and later on this spoken language was developed into a written language about 5,000 years ago. Yet among the traces of earlier periods of life on earth, we never find direct evidence or artifacts relating to the speech of our distant ancestors that might tell us how language was back in the early stages. But only thing is we do not have any direct proof to say 
how exactly our ancestors would have used this language, how they would have spoken this language when the language was in its earlier stage. Perhaps because of this absence of direct physical evidence, there has been no shortage of speculation about the origins of human speech. And only because we do not have any direct proof only, there are so many speculations, that is there are so many guess, uh, um, guessing about how lang human speech would have originated. This is what uh, George Ewell tells in his uh, first chapter in the introduction of uh, the study of language. In our later videos, we will uh, continue with this and we will read the whole book. Uh, if you want to add on anything to what I have said, please write it in the comment box. Like the video, share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe. And while subscribing, don't forget to press the bell button. Only then you will get the notification of all my videos when I post them. Thank you.